And all right, we are live. So hello, hello. Hi. Um, <laughs> let us know if you can hear us um, first. That would be cool. We don't want to have any issues there. Um, so yeah, hello. If you're just joining us, um, this is going to be the live show for uh, this month's book troop pick, which is going to be The Taking of Jake Livingston. Ooh, <laughs> trying to avoid that glare on the screen. Um, hello, hello to everyone joining. I'm trying to like hurry up and post the link. There, I'll just... Whoops. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're good sound wise. That is good to know. I know, have you ever used it? I just noticed that there's this like poll feature on the YouTube live screen. I've never used it before, but like, have you used it before, Mayana? Do you know like how to use it? I I don't. Oh, yeah, because I was curious, like maybe it would be easier if I asked like, oh, have you read the book? Maybe I can just put it in the poll and then people can just vote that way. So I don't have to have like, or maybe it'd be easier to see. Um, so I'm just gonna try doing that. And we'll see how it goes. But um, so, uh, yeah, so if you're joining us, this is going to be the live show for the taking of Jake Livingston. I'm joined by my lovely friend, Mayana. Um, her channel will be linked down below if you don't um, already follow her, which, you know, you should. <laughs> She's another awesome booktuber. And um, why don't you just like inter introduce yourself and introduce your channel a little bit? Okay, so my name is Mayana, and my channel is Mayana Reads, and I pretty much read everything and anything i love i'm loving a lot of thrillers also i want to show you gabby i got this book yes i actually started it on the plane but like you know because of vacation stuff i couldn't read it but it's so good so far oh I'm my so gosh i know you love the dark academia stuff so i was like mm -hmm. you are going to love that book <laughs> i also got another i got another uh where the truth lies because of you too Ooh, there you go nice i'm like really into thrillers right now yeah that's awesome um yeah so um this month we read the taking of jake livingston i feel like this one is kind of a different pick for me for the book troop so far because it's the first young adult title that i've ever had for the book troop and it's the first book that kind of leans more horror than thriller so this one kind of felt different for a number of reasons um so i'm curious to know like anybody in the chat like how many of you have actually read the book or if you're just here to hang out um, just because I'm curious to know, um, you know, how soon we'll be able to jump into spoilers here if we have some people who have not read it yet. But um, but yeah, so let me know if you've read it. Uh, maybe put a blue heart in the chat if you have read it, and then maybe a red heart if you have not. Maybe I can also see if the poll has any action on it. It looks like, I think it says yes is 51%. Okay, cool. Yeah, so, um, so while we're doing that, um, do you want to give like a very brief kind of like synopsis of like what the book is about in case anybody hasn't read it? So the taking of Jake Levinson is about this boy and he goes to a predominantly white school. Him and his brother are like, I I have I read this back in April, so I don't <laughs> remember if he's like the only black kid, because I could be confusing that with Ace of Spades, but I know he's one of the only few black kids at mm -hmm. the school. And he just kind of feels like he doesn't feel like he belongs in his like he doesn't feel like his cause his brother, his brother's getting in very well. He's in sports, he has friends, and like he's not really feeling the same. And then out of the fact that he can see ghosts, and he's starting to see the ghost of one of the boys who committed like a school shooting. Mm -hmm. So now he has to deal with that and not really fitting in as well. So he just really just feels like, like, like he doesn't belong and like out of it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good description. I, I don't know why I didn't realize like when I picked this book, like I think I had very vaguely like read the description, but I didn't realize how much big of a plot point the school shooting part of this book would be. Yeah. And that completely took me off guard because I was like, whoa, like this got way more darker than I was like originally anticipating like i don't even know why because it is horror i mean yeah. but but, but it's yeah, that so was... dark and it's so i don't want to say it's short but it's short it's like one of on the shorter side yeah and it's, it just amazed me how dark it was for it to be as short as it was yeah i know this one is only like i want to say it's like 200 i think it's around 240 pages or so so like yeah this one is on the shorter side too but um but yeah it definitely got really dark which i was not anticipating for some reason um I'm seeing a lot yeah. of people say they have like 50 pages left, 10 pages left. Like, I'm seeing a lot of people say they haven't finished it yet. 
I know that's intense. I know I will admit this one for some reason, even though it was really short, it took me a little while to get through this. I don't know why, like whether that was because it was like the content was just really like intense. So <laughs> I felt like I like needed to take my time with it. But um, but yeah, so I understand if some people um, haven't been finishing yet. Um, but yeah, I, I'm curious. I think I do know what you rated this book, but I'm curious to know what you rated this book. And to anybody watching, why don't you put your rating, your star rating out of five, if you have finished or if you haven't finished yet, like what you think you might give this book. Um, so yeah, what did you end up reading, rating this? Gonna, I know you. <laughs> I'm going to check my Goodreads just so I can because I'm pretty sure I gave it five stars, but I just want to oh, be. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, Goodreads is so slow. Oh, I gave it four. I gave it four stars. Okay. Nice. Okay, let's see. We have two out of five. We have DNF. Whoa. Three stars. Two stars. Oh, two stars. <laughs> Predicted a four star rating. Two out of five. Three. All right. So we got kind of a mixed bag of people. Um, like enjoying some of it, or a mixed bag of people who enjoyed it and didn't enjoy it. Oh, we got Someone said it's their first queer book. I know. Wow, that's intense. Um, all right, yeah, I'm so okay. I'm torn how I like feel about this book because there were some things about it that I really enjoyed, and there were some things about it that I thought could have been a lot better. Mm -hmm. Um, but I feel like I'm torn somewhere between like a 2.5 and a three star is like where I'm at. <laughs> I just don't know because like something that I really liked about this book. Well, I I didn't really end up liking this book until like the last 100 pages. I feel like that's when the story really starts to like pick up and make mm -hmm. a lot more sense for me um I feel like the first like 100 pages was like really slow and just like really hard to get into and I for some reason I just like couldn't connect with the writing style and I don't know if that's because it's like a young adult book and for some reason lately like I cannot get invested in young adult books like I don't know why yeah um but yeah like the first 100 pages it's just like hard for me to get into and I thought um Sawyer's point of view was really like strange at first and I was kind of like why is this here you know I agree. Um, yeah, because it was just like, like I was just expecting this book to all be told from Jake's point of view, and I found his character to be a lot more interesting than Sawyer's character. So I was kind of like taken off guard by the fact that Sawyer's point of view is even there in the first place. Um, yeah. So that was kind of a like weird adjustment. But then, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of talk in this book about like I don't think this is a spoiler or anything, but there's a lot of talk in this book about like death loops and like astral projecting and all of these words that like I have no idea what that means. Like a lot of it was going like way over my head. Um, and I feel like I have you seen the movie Donnie Darko? I have not, but I've heard of it. Yeah, I feel like it kind of like reminded me of that in a sense because it's kind of like confusing in the same way Donnie Darko is and it kind of feels like this dark like young adult kind of thing the same way Donnie Darko is but it just didn't quite live up to that in my opinion so like I don't know I just feel I feel very mixed on this book but um yeah I'm curious. Uh, I a lot of people say that the writing style like someone said it was unique and then someone said that it was tough to get into the book because of it mm -hmm. which I can understand yeah i know i felt like for a young adult book the writing style was very interesting because even though we had like young adult characters the writing style itself felt not like so young to me but like i don't know it felt kind of different from other young adult stuff that i've read mm -hmm. and i do think for a um young adult book the subject matter gets really intense in this book like the trigger warnings and things that happen um to sawyer and to jake in this book are like pretty intense for a young adult book like i don't know yeah, I, I can understand why people would rate it like a three star, even lower than a three star. I tend to be a lot nicer on my YA books. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, it's YA, it's not really for me. So I'm a little bit nicer. Unless it's fantasy, for some reason, for fantasy, I'm always harsh. Yeah. But if it's not fantasy, I'm always like, well, you know, like maybe someone that this age would like it. So mm -hmm. I, can, yeah. I can definitely see like three stars and, you know, even 2.5 stars. Cause like, I feel like towards the end, I do say this towards like every book I read, but the end really dragged out for me because I was so yeah. in the beginning. And mm -hmm. even though it was quick, by the end, I was like, well, I'm kind of bored now. Like, I'm yeah, just, mm. I agree. And that's what's hard is like, even with a short book like this, it's like you expect it to just be like fast yeah. paced and stuff. But even still, like, I felt like there were some parts that dragged too. I agree. Yeah. 
Um, somebody said nothing was explained well in this book. The action scenes and the supernatural aspects were so confusing because the writer didn't take the time to explain anything. I do partially agree with this. Yeah. Um, okay. Somebody said they liked the dual point of view. My only problem was I couldn't get, couldn't picture the ghoul scenes. Oh my God. Yes. Same. I have trouble picturing things in general with books. I really don't know how I read because I just, I have <laughs> trouble. So when it's ghosts, I'm really like, wow, it's really hard for me to picture it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the ghost explanation was kind of confusing. And that's the thing. Like I really uh, liked the fact that Jake was a medium in this book. Cause I don't know if I've ever read a book with a medium as a main character. And so I was really intrigued to, to kind of like know more about it and learn more about it. But I just feel like it wasn't explained very much. You know, it was just kind of like, I don't know. Maybe it's like if we had more um, like insight into like how he could do these things or, you know, like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I agree about not needing Sawyer and not thinking he was handled in the best way. Um, oops. I feel like, or I felt like I missed a few chapters with explanations because I was lost for some time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I read the arc. So like, I'm kind of just sitting back and seeing what people are saying because I'm like, maybe it was, ex I feel like I really shouldn't have read the book so I then could have compared the art. Cause you know, sometimes they change stuff. But I don't, seeing everyone's replies, I don't think anything was changed or added. Like when I was reading the book, I think that also goes into why I gave it four stars. I was like, oh, well maybe during the yeah. final time, this, this and this will be fixed. But now I'm seeing that it's not. And I'm kind of like, <laughs> hmm. I know true. That's like what's tricky about reading arc sometimes because you're like, what's gonna be like in the final copy and what's not? Like you just don't know sometimes. Um, I think Sawyer's point of view is necessary, but I don't think he should have had so many chapters. Yeah, I I would agree with that. Like I would have been good if he had four longer chapters with just the important backstory aspects. Yeah, I agree with that too because I think by the end of it, I totally understood why Sawyer's chapters were in there, and I did actually like his character arc by the end of the book but yeah like towards the middle section i was just like why does he have so many chapters like what is like well, i was like point. i don't want to read from a perspective of a school shooter especially because yeah. some of these chapters were weird like i don't like there's a whole like weird bug scene yeah like, i don't, like, don't want to read this i know <laughs> i know do you um do you tend to read like horror often or is horror like one of your like least read genres i think I don't know. Like I do, I have read like a lot of Grady Hendrick books and I've read mm -hmm. that. And I like to think that I read a lot of horror, but now that I think about it, I actually don't think that I do. I do want yeah. to. But yeah, I, I know. A lot of those like bug scenes reminded me of like a few other books that have like kind of stuff like that in horror. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's so creepy. Like anything with bugs, like just genuinely gets on the best. Literally, literally. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. Yeah. Um, Okay, well, I think I want to jump into spoilers now. Um, so if anybody who hasn't read the book yet um, and doesn't want to know spoilers, now will be your time to head out. <laughs> but if you don't care or if you have read it and you want to talk about spoilers, then we shall just be jumping right into it now. But um, I had like um, I had notes that I wanted to um, talk about specifically because um, one thing that I did really like about this book was the uh discussion about like what it's like to be black and gay mm -hmm. and uh like something that i found i thought that was really interesting but i also feel like it could have been touched on even more because i feel like it was only brought up like in one chapter specifically that i remember at least um where i was like oh that's a really great point and stuff and it kind of have you read the book um razor blade tears yet no no okay that one is uh one that i also recently just read that has this conversation of like what it's like to be black and gay and I just felt like in that book they touched on it a lot more in that book and the conversation was really like prominent throughout the whole story and that's kind of what I was hoping for with this one or at least I would I was hoping it would be brought up more because I do think that that's such an interesting conversation and such an interesting thing to have in a main character you know um in this book but um what was I gonna say I personally like I didn't mind it. And I think I'm more so thinking of the fact of like Ace of Spades. That's the only like mm -hmm. black and gay book. But like, I like that it touched on like, you know, microaggressions, like what it's like to be black and gay. But yeah. I'm, go I'm probably gonna compare it to Ace of Spades a lot just because yeah. we both have the same thing. But it was like, I think with this book, I liked it because it wasn't so heavy on the racism, like I, or like, you know, the homophobia, like I like 
that it was that extra space, but sometimes it's good to have a break from it. Mm-hmm. So it's just sure. like, okay, like I can read about this, and like I know I won't, won't be that stressed or like I won't be that upset when I come out of the end of it. But on the other hand, with Ace of Spades, I like that, and I mm-hmm. like feeling that emotion and getting that from the author. And it kind of feels like in um, taking up Jake Livingston, it just like was very surface level touching mm-hmm. on it though. And mm-hmm. I, I do agree. I really do wish that he went more into like what it is like being black and gay. Yeah, I know. I do agree. Ace of Spades was like another one of those books that was so well done. And yeah. I feel like, yeah, I, I kind of wish it was more like that in a sense. Cause I feel like uh, Ace of Spades is like, not only does it have like really great conversations about like social things like that, but also the like thrilling aspects in Ace of Spades is really intense. Like I just- yes. Towards the end, I was like yeah. shaking. And then yeah. like Livingston, I'm like, it, it felt like it was holding my hand basically. Mm-hmm. Whereas Ace of Spades, I didn't know what could have happened. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I also, uh, like there was that whole conversation about like, the death loop thing and like how it works and stuff and i was so confused but i was writing down a lot of like they use terms like astral bodies and stuff and then they were saying that suicide like interrupts the scheme or something and that's how his body got like trapped in between like life and death or something and it it was confusing the way it was written because what i understand from it is that like sawyer's character was also gay right like that's what i was getting from that and then he said i think he said he was coming back to either haunt the people that were like homophobic towards him at the school right like I don't know if I like misinterpreted what was happening but I'm pretty sure that was what was happening and then he wanted to use Jake's body to get revenge on certain people because Jake was a medium so he felt like he could more easily like access his body I guess or something um already in that it's like a lot of like plot holes because you would think as a medium that that would probably, and maybe it's because he's in high school, but you would think as a medium that would happen a lot. Like, yeah, how to use your body to get revenge. So, like, Jake would do everything to, or they would have something to prevent it. It was just yeah. a lot of stuff in there that I was just like, I don't get what this is saying right now. Yeah. And usually that happens a lot in books. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I don't get it anyway. So I'm going to continue reading. Mm-hmm. So I think that's more so why I was like, oh. yeah, I know. I think my like, favorite um aspect of the book at least towards the end was the whole story of um Sawyer kind of like possessing Jake's body and then using his body to go and get revenge on his uncle who had like like raped him or molested him as a child and that was like really powerful and really intense I was like holy crap because then it was like I finally realized why Sawyer's chapters were kind of there to begin with because it was like you had to know some of his backstory in order to care about this stuff happening at the end you know but it's still like um I just I really liked those chapters and seeing like what was happening with that story but also like I found it to be so confusing once Jake started fighting for his own body back like the chapters were written in such a strange way that I was just like it was so hard to follow like what was happening because Sawyer was like in his head and he was like fighting him for his own body like I don't know it just got to be a little bit like confusing. Someone in the comments said that um, I don't like that the author tried to make us feel bad for Sawyer in the end of the book after killing his classmates. And I t- I literally agree because, like like I said, when I first got Sawyer's chapters, I was like, I don't care to read from her school shooters. Person. Yeah. It's just like, yeah. why is he trying to make us empathize with this school shooter? Like, Yeah, that's a really good point. I didn't really even consider that, that, yeah, he is, I guess, trying to, yeah, because at the end of the day, it's like, he's trying to make you feel sympathy towards this character, right? So um, that's a really good point. Yeah, I also felt like I couldn't really follow the action scenes. And like, yeah, there was that one at the very end when he said, like, um, the people crawled out of his neck or something. Like, I don't even know. Like, it was so hard to follow. But it was like, it was something like all the people that he had killed or something at the end were like crawling out of his neck. And I don't even know. It was just very, very confusing. Um, but also, how did I was wondering, how did you feel about like the romance in this book between Jake and Alistair? To be honest, I, <laughs> it was not memorable. Yeah. Because during the entire time, I'm like, I feel like there's a romance in this book, but I can't remember. I'm glad that there was a romance because, you know, it, it touches on being black and being gay and, like, he got that happiness in the end. Yeah. But if I can remember correctly, Alistair's character annoyed me. Yeah. I know. See, that's the thing is, like, I 
wanted to ship them so badly because I wanted there to be like a really great romance to root for in this book. But I just like, yeah, Alistair was just so like forgettable as a love interest. And just like, I felt like he barely even had any time in this book to really like for us to really get to know his character anyways. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I just, I couldn't connect with the romance in this book either. So that's another, like, part of the reason why I was so disappointed, because I was hoping at least I would have, like, the romance to root for. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this question, how did he even beat Sawyer? I was so confused. Yeah, like, th the whole idea of him doing that, like, I don't understand that either. Um. Since I love true crime, I enjoyed seeing Sawyer's backstory and seeing what he went through. That made him ultimately choose to kill his classmates. That's an interesting perspective. Somebody said I hated Alistair. I'm glad <laughs> because I'm like, I can't remember, like, maybe I'm just being mean, but I remember his character literally annoying me. Yeah. Yeah, and you're then definitely I, on there. And then, like, when it got together, I was like, why? <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's trapped the souls of all the people he killed, and then they were released. So that's what was happening out of his neck, I guess, at the end. That's, I guess that makes more sense. I feel like the author pictured everything perfectly in their head, but it didn't really translate. For me, I had trouble imagining certain things and knowing what they meant. Yeah, I would agree with that. This is kind of like giving, like, if you want to be an author, I feel like this live stream is, like, giving a better perspective on, like, things you might want to focus on when you're writing or, like, mm -hmm. in your book. Because it's, like, like the comment said, like, the author probably is like, oh, yeah, this sounds good. But us as the audience, we're like, how does that work? Yeah. I know, like, maybe... Like, I don't know if he had, like, you know, like, obviously, like, editors and stuff looking over this, but I wonder if anybody was, like, oh, we need more, like, description here. Like, this doesn't really make yeah. sense. <laughs> like, or, maybe, or maybe he had more description and editors, like, ah, oh, let's take it out. And the editor could have, you know. I mean, true. Yeah, maybe maybe it was the editing that. Because it is short, and maybe they were, like, since it's, like, a young adult, we want to keep it, like, shorter. Mm -hmm. So maybe they did have him, like, cut down on it. Like, I don't know. Um, it says he beat Sawyer by using parts of the dead world. The whole story is about him being strong enough, accepting himself for who he is so he could fight back and turn dead world against Sawyer. See, I feel like a lot of this like went way over my head. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't yeah. know. I'm not really into like ghost stories. Like even like I love horror movies, but even with horror movies, I'm like, I'm like, it's not really believable to me unless you've been through, through it. So like mm -hmm. with a lot of ghost things, I'm like, uh, but why does that make I, I question a lot of things because it's like okay but how do you know there's a dead world yeah i know that's what i mean it's like confusing because i guess too with like horror books i feel like this would be classified as more like you know like paranormal ghost horror like you were saying and that's something that yeah i realized too like i don't read a lot of that and so i don't really know my preference when it comes to horror novels like this but yeah i feel like there was something about this book that didn't necessarily work for me with that like you know like you were saying yeah. um it's just, yeah. I feel like if it was like written in a more fleshed out way so we could actually understand like what was going on, I might have enjoyed those aspects more. But um, but yeah, even like the idea of being a medium too, like I don't know a lot about it to be honest, but I find it really interesting. And that's why I kind of do wish it was explored a little bit more in this book, just because I yeah. would like to know more about like what that is like. <laughs> yeah, I kept thinking of, what is that show? It was a ghost show. And it was like the Ghost Whisperer. It like, oh. reminded me of that a little bit. And I kind of wish that like it had taken a bit more inspiration from the ghost whisper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Um, that's a good point. I think this was written for younger readers. He tried to make it more descriptive and interesting, but to me it felt clumsy. I guess that's true. Cause it's like, if you do have like a more young adult audience, then maybe you don't want to, you know, have such long explanations of things where they might lose interest or something, you know, but it's like, as like adults reading this, we kind of want more of an explanation for things to like make sense. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Not a fan of paranormal horror. I can't think of, um, like, I do like some like paranormal horror, but like specifically ghost paranormal horror like this, like, I don't know if I've read a lot of it. I can mention one, but it would be a spoiler. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's like the ones I do want to mention. I'm like, hmm, that's a spoiler. All right. <laughs> um, I thought it was interesting, but sort of confusing that his ancestors were gods and that the girl Sawyer killed turned into a god after she found peace. I know that was, yeah, I completely forgot about that part, how um, the girl turned into a god or something at the end, too. Yeah. That was also pretty confusing. I guess because everyone's kind of obsessed with, like, gods right now, but it's yeah. like, that doesn't really fit with the plot line. Mm -hmm. well, everyone hates authors. I mean. Yeah. 
Um, it wasn't all fantasy, but the ectomist, all the imagery, it was hard to get into. It was his story that made me happy, but it was hard to get through the ghost parts. Yeah. I would agree. And core fiction to me is really boring because of all the paranormal research and investigations that I do with real porno, real paranormal things happening. So I find fictional horror very boring. Ooh, real paranormal horror. horror. Right. That's exciting. <laughs> um. Yeah, I like horror and thought it was cool that he was a medium, but found myself way more interested in the realistic aspects of the story. I would agree, too. I mean, I thought it was a really cool point in the book where, like, you know, right at the beginning, uh, that kid, Mateo, got, like, murdered or whatever, you know, and he, um, it was, like, his neighbor and his classmate or something, and he was trying to figure out why. And then once he realizes that it might have been something non-human that killed him, I was like, wait, what? Like, I was invested kind of in that in the beginning, and I liked how, uh, like Sawyer like wrote his initials in blood in like his bathroom or something like that in the beginning. And I was like, okay, that's creepy. And then there was that scene where like he was reading his like book, the great Gatsby or something. And then like there was blood of like written of like that guy's address in the book and stuff. And I was like, okay, this is really creepy. Like I thought it was so well done at the beginning, but then I just ended up getting kind of bored with. Yeah. Like, where that ended up <laughs> going. Actually, that's exactly how I feel like in the beginning. I was like, Oh my gosh, like this is so intriguing. Like, what the heck is going on? And I'm like, like, God, can we just pick it up? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Um, Let me see if I had anything else I wanted to talk about. I did like um, how Jake and his brother kind of had like a full circle at the end of the story. Like, because I like how they didn't really, like, they weren't exactly close at the beginning of the book, but then I liked how by the end of the book, they had, like, a really great moment together where he was just kind of like, I believe you. And that was, like, big for him because, um, like, nobody ever really believed him about being a medium or being able to, like, see ghosts and, like, talk to ghosts in the first place. So I, I liked that um, their brother had that full loop, like, you know, bond at the end. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, like, to me it was good because it was, like, you know, he felt like his brother was doing better at fitting in. Mm-hmm. he was because he was in sports and he had all his classmates like him and then he kind of felt like a loser so then in the end it just comes like full circle and his brother's actually there for him and he's not treating him how he was in the beginning of the book and it's like yeah basically what you said mm-hmm. yeah um if a car died on the road does jake see that on a loop i know see that's what i don't understand about the death loop thing like does that literally mean he like sees death on a loop right because I know, I don't know. Because wasn't it, yeah, like, there was, like, one scene, I think, where he was, like, seeing someone that was, like, already dead, and, like, the rest of the family, like, couldn't see that person, but he was seeing them, like, die over and over again on a I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, that's interesting. I found the part of the brothers being closer was out of nowhere what made him believe him. I mean, true. But, um. Oh, yeah, this one. I loved when Jake blew up at his teacher. That was great. Um, was what Jake's former friend really that bad That bad a person to stop being friends with him, or was Jake being dramatic? Which friend are you talking about? <laughs> um, I've seen the death loop in either a movie or a book, and that, that's the one that made sense. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I did. I did not understand the death loop thing like at all. What movie was it? I know what. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Let me see. Yeah. Um. I don't know if I had any other comments that I wanted to make. I think I went over everything. Uh, it's it's kind of like unfortunate because I feel like this is one of the books that I have like the least to say about it after reading you know it was just it was one of those books that I feel so like lukewarm on and so I don't have any like opinions that are like super positive or super negative I just like kind of feel so middle about it so I feel like I don't have like a ton to say about it yeah and I've read it like I want to it's not so long ago but I've read so many other books since then. Yeah. Like Ace of Spades or like, even though I didn't like the other black girls, so it was like that one kind of like on a scale of like Ace of Spades being the one I didn't like the least. And then, I mean, whoa, the other black girls being the one I liked the least. And then Ace of Spades being the one I liked the most. Mm-hmm. It falls like right in the middle. Like I, yeah. didn't, I didn't have any problems with it. Besides being confused, but like I said, I'm always confused. So I just, usually when I'm confused, I'm just like, oh, that's my fault. I'm never like. Yeah. 
So yeah. I guess I really like seeing everyone else's perspective and it's like, okay, maybe I should have not been like, oh, it's me. And been like, maybe it's the book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's why I think it's like interesting to discuss books like this that I feel so confused about because then it's, it's good to find out if I'm not alone and it's good to like have some things explained to me if I don't understand like what's going on. It makes me really wish I discussed it right after I had finished it when I was very clear on what happened. Mm -hmm. Because now I'm kind of just like remember stuff and like every time someone comes up, I'm like, oh, that did happen. <laughs> Oh, okay. It's in the show Supernatural. Death loops are when a person gets stuck living their death over and over and doesn't realize they're dead. Oh, have you seen Supernatural? I started it, then I was like, this is too many seasons. Yeah. <laughs> I know, same. I started it, and I probably got, like, maybe one or two seasons in, and then I was like, I can't do this. I got anymore. one or two episodes, and I was like, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is too much. Um... Okay, I thought it was a great book for teens because of his character arc, but the school shooting part was too real. I wouldn't want my son reading because of that, but I get why the authors are using it now. I know, I agree. I feel like it's a, not that I'm like necessarily against reading about school shootings, but it is, it does feel pretty, uh, you know, close to, yeah. too close to a <laughs> reality, but I feel like a lot of horror can be like that. And it's not one of those books where it's like the school shooting with like, I don't want to say educate you because there's nothing you can get educated from, but it's yeah. not something where it's like you could learn something about like, you know, some new information, like where to hide or like, it's not mm -hmm. like the school shooting really what I don't know what the kind of word I'm looking for, but it's not like when you read about something that could actually help you in school or like, not even yeah. in school, but just like, you know, like, I can't be like, oh, maybe you should let your son read because he could learn something because it's, it's nothing he could gain from the school shooting. But yeah. So, trauma and like especially if you've already been through a school shooting yes to me i feel like if i had been through a school shooting i would be like i wouldn't have read the book at all to be honest yeah i know because <laughs> school shootings it's just like yeah it's a sensitive subject and i mean from what i remember reading this book i don't think it ever got too graphically detailed about what happened at the school shooting like i don't even think there was a point in the book where it kind of showed the scene of like what happened it was just kind of talked about a lot but um but even still, yeah, it's 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 a pretty sensitive subject for a lot of people. So I kept thinking about like when I was reading the book, I kept thinking about the American Horror Story episode in Murder House with like Tate. I just kept thinking about that on a loop, mm. and like that was all like that was all I got from it. Yeah. Oh, okay. His ex friend just let Chad bully Jake in the school washroom and didn't help him, so Jake ignored him in return while they ran. I don't remember this for some reason. I'm totally blanking. <laughs> um, I like the messages the book was trying to portray, but felt like there was almost too many important topics shoved into the too short of a book. I would agree with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this book feels like a first installment with all the plot holes. It feels like they would be better explained in a second or third book, especially as powers and the loops. Yeah, this yeah. doesn't seem like a... That is such a great point, like... It doesn't yeah. seem like a standalone type of book because he's a medium and it's a mm -hmm. YA book. And it feels like if they had like a second or third book, then we will learn, you know, then you would get more about him being a medium and like other experiences and explaining more about the death loop and stuff that we could, like, I, I think it should be a series because then we would get more, like, it's not one of those books that should be a standalone, basically, which is something yeah. I never say because I love standalone. Like, I yeah. suck at series. That's true. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it, um, like, they're saying they were mad about the school shooting, got invested in emotional, and then it was only a drill? Like, wasn't it revealed at the end that it was only, like, a drill or something? Or that Sawyer had, like, or he th had thought it happened because he could see Sawyer or something because he was a medium and nobody else? I don't know. I felt like I remember hearing something about this, but I think I just, like, ignored that in my brain. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't remember the... Um... Also, yeah, this, can we talk about the major plot hole that made me so mad? Am I really supposed to believe that Jake didn't get arrested for the murder of Sawyer's uncle? He was literally found by the crime scene. That's so true, because I was thinking the whole time, I was like, oh my god, he's literally, like, using Jake's body to go and do this horrific thing. And I'm like, he's gonna get, you know, accused of doing it, even though, because I was like, how is he gonna get out of this? You know, he's gonna be like, oh, I was possessed by this dude, you know, like, um, no way. It feels a bit weird that, like, Sawyer was white and he was using a black man's body yeah. to kill his uncle. That felt that especially part, like, A lot of that was like, uh, you know. Yeah, I was like, ooh, yikes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Um, yeah, no shade to the author. I do think books with school shootings should disclose that, but they did show it in Dead World. The kids being stuck in the de death loop the girls had gone. It was scary. Hmm. Yeah, oh, no, no, Jake's school had... Oh, okay, I think it was... It must have just been at the end or something. I think it was... Yeah. Um, but yeah, huh. Well, um, if anybody has any, like, last comments um, that you would like for us to discuss about the book, we'll probably be wrapping it up here in just a few minutes. But, um, but yeah, I still... F I feel like, yeah, I do still fall somewhere between, like, a 2.5 and a 3 star because there were some things about this book that I really did enjoy, but then I felt like there was just so much that could have been better that was a, just kind of like a missed opportunity but um but i'm definitely curious to check out more books from this author in the future because this is his first book right if i'm yeah. not mistaken this was his debut um i just want to go back and change my rating to three <laughs> <laughs> oh no I, I i hate feeling like i don't want to like persuade people to like lower their rating if they loved it because like the same thing happened like last month with my uh the last month I did the live show for the new Riley Sager book and uh, me and my sister didn't really like it that much, but my mom like loved it. And so we were just like talking shit on it the whole live show. And then by the end, my mom was like, well, like, I don't know if I like it anymore. And I'm like, yeah. I'm fine. Honestly, it's more so me. Cause I like, like, like I said, with YA, I'm very nice, but I also like to be very, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I'm very like, Rules. I don't want to say like mean like about critical. my rating, like critical. Like I'm really critical or like strict about my ratings. So like mm -hmm. sometimes I really do. There are a lot of books I've read where I'm like, ah, like The Maidens. I went back and gave that three stars instead of five. Because oh, really? I thought about it after, you know, my sister had read it and other people had read it after the art. I was like, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't all that good. Like in the beginning, I was bored. So it's more so just me being like, maybe I do need to go change the rating just because I'm more critical. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. I mean, sometimes like, like after finishing a book, just like like when I read The Maidens too, like I gave The Maidens five stars and it's like, I just had such a high from reading that book that I was like, yes. five stars, like don't even think about it, you know? Like, the was so good. I was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. And yeah. then the art came out and I was like, I was literally bored 75% of the book. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> I know it's like it's so hard sometimes to rate books because it's like how do you actually go about rating them you know because it's like do you rate them because of the feeling that it gave yeah. you like while you're reading it and like whatever or do you read it based on like the actual critical like how is the story and like the plot holes and stuff you know because I feel like yeah. sometimes with thrillers like even if there are some plot holes if the story is like really great I can look past it and still be like I loved it five stars like I I just felt so alive while I was reading it you know but, I, like, I agree especially with thrillers what was there's this thriller I just read this month I read both of the um the Thank you. It was like so. It was like such a quiet place. I think it was, or was oh, it the yeah. other one? With the Megan Miranda. Yeah, it was the Megan Miranda one. Oh. And I didn't like how it ended, but I had a fun time reading the book, and I gave it like yeah. three stars. But I still think about the book. I'm like, I need to change the rating to like four point five because it yeah. was. Good. I just didn't like that plot twist. Yeah, I know. Same with um, I think you read it too. That new Sherry Lupina, the like not a happy family. Yeah, that one. It's like even though like I was able to predict the killer and I thought it was pretty obvious. Like I just had so much fun reading was, that book and it was, it was so, so fun. Yeah. So I was like four stars. I loved it. Yeah, I yeah, I gave it, like three. Set for the same reason. I was like, oh, it wasn't that it was predictable. I was just like, well, it didn't give anything new. Yeah. And like usually when I read thrillers, I go based on the plot twist, which I have to stop doing because yeah. it gave drama. It like I was gasping. Like <laughs> it's what I really look for in thrillers. And just because the plot twist wasn't as good doesn't mean it needs to be like a three star. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree. All right. Well, I think that just about wraps up this um live show. Um, yeah, I'm so happy you were able to join me for this and thank you for joining, even though I know it's been a while since you've, uh, actually read the book, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so excited that we got to do this live show together yeah. and I'm so thankful to anybody that was able to join us and watch and read along with us this month. Um, yeah, next month, uh, for the book troop, we're going to be reading 56 days, which I'm so curious about because it's like a thriller that takes place during like early quarantine COVID times. So, um, yeah, super curious to be reading that next month. And, um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining us. And, yeah, we will yes, see thank you later. You for me. Oh, of course. Yeah. And if you're not subscribed to Mayana, her link is in the description. So make sure you go and do that because her channel is amazing and she'll make you smile and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much.